everyone. I hope you, everyone is having a blessed day today. And I'm coming. This is Miss Lena. And I'm going to come and come into you today. And I'm going to get re read <clears throat> rereading my scripture. Okay, it's coming from Isaiah 4424. The Lord you redeemed and created, said Creator, says, <coughs> I am the Lord who made all things. I am alone stretched out in the heavens by myself. I made the earth and everything in it. Isaiah 44, chapter 44, verse 24. Thank you so much. Okay. Now, I'm getting ready to make... Uh, I'm getting ready to make a, a, nach a nacho casserole. Okay. So, these are the, items, the ingredients that I'll be using. Uh, the black beans, okay, in uh, black olives, okay, black olive, ketchup, you know, tomato, um, wait, tomato, okay, diced tomatoes, oh, diced tomato, okay, diced tomatoes, tomato sauce, and uh, whole corn, and I'll be putting in black pepper or onions, complete. Ground cumin, garlic powder, chili powder, and paprika. <clears throat> and also, onions and uh, jalapeno peppers that's already cut up together. And bell peppers. Oh, bell peppers. And jalapeno peppers. Onions and bell peppers. I'm sorry. All right. So now, I'm getting ready to put in my ingredients that I'll be putting in. All right. Let me stand up, everybody. I'm going to be putting in... I'm just going to be pouring in paprika. Okay. Chili powder. Okay. Garlic powder. Cumin, complete, <coughs> complete comes out so slow out the back, I have to kind of open it back up for a little bit, okay. My onion powder, black pepper, okay. Now, I'm my uh, my bell pepper and the onions and uh, jalapeno peppers, okay? <clears throat> okay. I'm going to be mixing together. Hey y'all, she finna go to the stove so she can cook it. Hope everyone is having a good midweek. That might be listening or whatever.
This is going to be a very good dish for something that's going to be a little quick. It doesn't take a real long time. And it's a good one meal base, one pan, one pan meal also. Okay, y'all, she'll be right back once it's cooked. Okay, I'm putting all my, my chips in the, in the bottom of the pan. We'll be back, y'all. Leave it. Uh. All right, I put uh, the there was about a pound of meat in there, a pound and a half. So we're gonna, I check, I'm gonna eliminate some of it to see. It might be more meat than we have for the amount of rice that we have. If she, but if she needs it, she'll add more to it. Okay. A whole can of corn. I'm okay. Half a can. I'm put a half a can of corn in. If I need it, I'll put more. Okay. And the diced tomatoes. Well, all right. A half a can of diced tomatoes. A whole can. A whole can of the small can of uh, sliced black olives. Okay. Y'all, if y'all don't like spicy food, don't add the peppers. Okay. Now I'm going to, it's a cup of ketchup. We'll be going in. Okay. And She's gonna put half the black beans in there. A half a can of black beans. I'm using a uh, I didn't know I had piccani sauce, so I'm using piccani sauce instead of the tomato sauce. I'm going to use a cup full. Now you can use mild or spicy. This says medium. So it's not mild and it's not real spicy, say medium. Yeah, this is so good. Okay, this is fresh cilantro. So I'm putting it in also. Okay. I hope y'all try this. This recipe is so good, y'all. I'm getting ready now to put it in the uh, casserole.
Okay. I'm getting ready to spread the shoes on. Yeah, it only has to cook until the cheese melts. Okay, y'all. She's been ready to put in the oven for about 10 minutes or maybe a little bit more on 350. And we'll be back once it's done. Thank you. Okay, this is the final touches of the nacho casserole. So I'm going to get ready to um, put a, a little bite out. Give me the cup down. It's hot. I had to push this back a little bit. Okay. Okay. Let's stick into the table. Okay. Let me uh, get a dip here for you guys. So I'm going to put a dip on this plate for me. For, my, for me. In the bowl, in the bowl I guess, for me. Okay. Okay. Now, I want you to see it before I uh, taste it so you can see how it will be looking. Okay. It looks very delicious. It's like it's really off the chain. Okay. I'm going to take a taste of it for you guys. So It's very hot. It's come from the oven. Hmm. Very, very good. It's delicious. Yeah, I hope y'all try this casserole. It is so good. Oh my goodness, it's so good. And I really hope y'all try it. This will be very good for your Taco Tuesday. We've been making it for years. Yeah, this is so good. It is so good. And I tell you, it's delicious. And I know you will love it. Whenever you try it, you will love it. So. Mm. Mm-mm-mm. Thank you all so much for watching. Yeah, I try this recipe. It's so good. And try it. Please let us know in the comments because it's so good, y'all. We've been making it since the two, early 2000s. Okay. Everything is good. If you all can't use white rice, you can use the brown rice. Also, I wanted to tell you because I know some people can't have white rice, so... You can use the brown rice. Thank you. And also, if you don't eat no meat, you can also not put meat in it. Just put the vegetables in it. Okay. All right. Thank you all so much for watching this video. And I hope you will enjoy uh, this, uh, nacho, uh, this nacho video. Miss Lena's Kitchen, I thank you so much. Have a blessed evening and a blessed day. Goodbye. See you later. With all my love. Bye-bye.